That was brutal. I really fell apart the last 5K, but I'm really proud of hanging in there. Um, it was definitely got really tough. I think I experienced the wall a bit, but I'm happy I made it to the finish. So you run two marathons now, both in difficult courses. You kind of hoping to run a flat one sometime soon? <laughs> yeah, after today, uh, I definitely felt those hills. But you know, it's all about competing out there, and I'm proud of what I did. Early on, first mile, you have had the lead. What was that like? So once again, not my intention in any way. Um, just trying to even out the effort a little bit. Um, you know, it's hard to know whether that was the right call or not. But we were 6:30 through the mile, and you know, my goal was 5:45s or so. So I just wanted to try and uh, run my own race out there, no matter what happens. What do you think the biggest difference between New York and Boston is having run both those? Two completely different races for sure. Uh, Boston, my last 5K was my strongest, and this race was definitely my weakest. So, you know, it's, it's two different, completely different races, and it's all about just showing up on the day and competing to the best that I could. And what's next for you? Um, heading into 2017, are we going to be on the track or just stick to the roads? Um, I'd like to get in a fast half, so that's sort of the thought, but first thought is the rest, and then we'll see what sounds exciting after that. Right, congratulations. Thank you.